This might be useful for some people. What I want to show you is a way that I can duplicate this ring. So if you're like me and you haven't farmed a whole bunch of set items yet, because you're either waiting for Hell 5 difficulty, you're waiting for the server paragon level to be higher, you're waiting for the drop rates to be increased by Blizzard, if you're just not exactly farming a ton of set items. When you do get something like this, and this is my best row yet, it's a triple, triple vitality, willpower, intelligence, exactly what I want to see. Damage taken by your summons decrease, scale cooldown reduced, and movement speed increased. These are basically phenomenal stats, especially for a necromancer, okay? So what I want to show you is how I can take this ring and duplicate this ring into the other position. Because if you look here, I have 113 fortitude, 117 intelligence, a triple stat, would be way better than this double single, even if we account for the fact that there's a set property at the moment, okay? 15% increased primary attack. What I would rather have is the difference in combat rating and all the other stats that will help me progress. Because what we actually need in order to go from difficulty to difficulty is higher combat rating and set items, especially rings, can be very difficult to get because the rings are the most recent one we've been able to farm and it takes a while to get them. So here's a trick that we can actually duplicate this ring. So what I'm gonna show you is how to get these triple stats twice. I'm just can make a copy of this ring. So what I'm gonna do is make sure it's equipped when I go to actually class change, I'm gonna make sure all of that's equipped. What we're doing is sort of abusing the way that it's an intended use, so it's not an exploit or glitch or anything, it's just smart use of game mechanics. And we're kind of abusing the fact that it gives us a duplicate of the uh, actual items we're wearing. So look at this. So we go back to Necromancer, which is where I want to go at the moment. We say, okay, I'm ready to do my free class change. I'm going from a wizard to a necromancer. What I'm going to do is do my class change, free class change remaining one. Yes, I will take it for the week. I can always go back to wizard if I want, revert right back, no problem. So what I do is now I'm swapped, okay? Watch what happens. So I've swapped to necromancer. I'm going to do this all without editing so you don't think it's anything weird. I didn't go farm another one or anything like that. We're going to sit here and wait. Goes through, there we go, class change completed. Now look at this, see all your class equipment is transferred, et cetera. Do you see all these reserve items popping up? Watch what happens. So if we go down here, I now have this triple row ring is in my inventory. It's not equipped, okay? But if I look at what is equipped, oh weird, I have another one of these. I just duplicated this ring. Granted, it's not another of the same set, it's the reserve piece, but watch what happens. Here's my stats, right? 48, 45 combat rating. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove both of these. I'm gonna remove the rings and check this out. Now I'm going to equip the ring and then I'm going to equip the duplicate of the ring. Check this out, the duplicate as well. Normally you could not equip two of the same kind, but look at this. Now I have this same ring twice. Now we go back, look at the combat rating, 48, 86. So it has in fact gone up. We have increased our stats. So then maybe that's not super useful if you're already six piece set and you're ultra farmed and you have all triples, but if you need some extra combat rating, you can actually duplicate your rings. On top of it, let's say I wanna go back to wizard. I just wanted that extra ring for the stats for the little boost real quick. I'm having trouble getting into parties or something like that, right? Then what I can do is I can go back and all I gotta do is class change, revert class, and I can literally go right back to the wizard if I need to just like that. And the only thing that happened was I now gained this ring. Okay, so keep it in mind, it's gonna be useful if you need extra combat rating stats or if you have one absolutely insane ring that you get at like the top of your paragon and then you have one kind of garbage one. This is a way to actually duplicate these rings. Now, if you're farming sets all the time, like literally all the time and you have min-max six piece and all that, well, it, it, this isn't maybe as useful. But for people like me, they're kind of in the in-between waiting. Once a week, you get to basically duplicate a ring of your choosing if you constantly get better rings, et cetera. You only really have to do it once though. If you get one insane triple row, duplicate it once, you have one extra piece in there just in case you need the combat rating push, etc. Pretty much that simple, everybody. Consider liking the video or subscribing if you haven't seen this tip yet. Love you all. See you on the next one.